Hi everybody, this is Miss Gwen, the Children's Librarian at Belmont Hills Library, and I'm sorry for posting this video late, but I had some technical difficulties, and as you can imagine, it's um, a little difficult trying to make sure you have everything in place when you're working virtually. So I did lose power on my phone and I'm not at my house, so I didn't have any cords. I had to go find a cord. So I am back online, thankfully. So this craft is going to be about foraging for um, items in your yard or maybe a local park. As long as you uh, practice social distancing, you can go out and collect some things like I did here in my bag. I'll show you some of my items in a moment. So the first thing you'll need if you're doing this outside is some bug spray, because bugs are always trying to bite me. Some glue, and you can use some of these trays. So like, I think this some fruit came in this and maybe some meat in this, and I washed it out very thoroughly. So I think I'm gonna use this black one. I'll use the black one. Okay. And then when you go foraging, you just pick things up. So I picked up some, some pine cones and I just snipped some blades of grass. And I also found some little acorns with the little, the little hats. Oops. Hats. And some of these. And then I also just picked some needles from a evergreen. And then I got some twigs that I found on the ground. And then I also just got a few little colorful flowers, little ones, just little ones that were growing. I wasn't taking anybody's plants. And then, it's kind of, I guess these are seed pods that came down from one of the trees. I thought that was really interesting. That adds some nice texture. What else do I have in here? Oh, and another pretty little flower from the side. So these are some of my items that I'm going to make a little collage with, a little nature collage. So you get your glue. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour it all in here, all around. Oops, it doesn't want to come out that way. So we're going to have to open it. And if it gets really tight, you just have to uh, break it open. There we go. Just pour some in. So maybe for the little guys, mom and dad might want to do this. There's my glue, and I'm just going to rub it all over. They might want to pour it in for you, and then you can get your brush. And make it go all over. Put a little bit more in. This one's a little gloopy. And then you can do the sides, too, a little bit. So you have a nice base here of glue, and then we'll probably add more glue as we add things. So you can see, it. that's how it looks. So now I'm going to add some things. Now these pine cones are kind of thick, so what I'm going to do is I might maybe cut it in half or cut some pieces off. I don't know if I can actually cut it in half. Yeah, I can. There we go. I'm just going to take a little piece off. Some pieces of it. And I'm going to add them inside. Like that. I'm going to add some of my blades of grass. Push them in there. Okay, like that. And then, I really thought this was so interesting. So I'm going to put that in there. So instead of making a collage with paper or maybe um, a collage with different shapes of color, you're making it with natural objects. So the object of this is just to make something that is very pleasing to look at and that will remind you of your walk in the park or in your backyard. This is some color over here. And then I'm going to add one of these acorn hats up here. 
And then I think I'm gonna add a little bit of my pine needles over here. Maybe one over here too. And then I might add a little piece of the twig. I'm gonna break that down. Gonna add it here. Something like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pour a little more glue on top. Now, parents, you might want to put it in a little cup so that your kids can take it out with a paintbrush and add it. So I'm just adding it in. Ooh, it's kind of fun. You never get to do this with glue. See, so I poured some more on top and I'm just going to very carefully brush it over some of the items I put inside. And then when you're done, obviously you're gonna let it dry. Now it might take a while to dry, probably overnight. So you wanna make sure you have a lot of glue, especially on things like the sticks and then these little acorn hats. And keep in mind, you know, the glue will dry clear so you won't see all of this white. You'll just see the beautiful objects. And there's my nature shadow box. I really like it, all the pretty colors. So if you happen to go out for a walk, make sure you take a little bag and forage for some nature objects and then take a picture and send it to me and let me know what you've done. Until next time, Bye.